hello everyone welcome again to another video from investing with the difference so today we are going to look at one important aspect about uh, eos that is the eos airdrops and uh, we are going to talk about air grab so what is an air grab so, as you remember there was a lot of controversy around eos ram and uh, the airdrops which have been happening on eos they had stopped because EOS RAM has been become very expensive. So even though it has come down at one point, it was a two hundred thousand dollars to do an airdrop. Uh, at the current prices, I think it is around uh, forty thousand dollars or twenty thousand dollars or so. But irrespective of uh, exact price, it is still not uh, very cheap if you are a new DApp developer. So what I wanted to highlight is this is the poor man's token. If you have heard about it. It was just an experiment by Generios, uh, which is the creators of the toolkit. And uh, what they had done is they sh uh, created a method of airdropping where you use your own RAM. So like if you are a token holder, so they do not allocate the tokens in a system RAM. They allocate the token in your RAM. And that's how the contract is written. And this was a very successful experiment. And uh, they define something called EOS air grab and what that means is you have to take an action and use your RAM to air grab these tokens so what is happening after that so many projects are doing air grab and uh, if you go right now uh, in the EOS toolkit so this is the EOS toolkit uh, which I'm uh, showing you there is an option to air grab tokens and you can click on air grab tokens and of course there was this poor man token which is poor now this was a test token so this is uh, this may never get listed because it is not much it was uh, it doesn't even represent a project other than a test but of course you can do the air grab for that but beyond that there are three other tokens which are right now available so if you remember we did a video on tribe and uh, we asked you to go and create an account uh, for some free tokens and uh, they are also using the airdrop model Riddle, which is a very good project. This is uh, from the Scatter Creator and S. James. This is more of a reputation system on the blockchain, which is a pretty good idea. And then there's a Wiz. This is uh, again another project which is starting on EOS and uh, they are talking about a decentralized ecosystem with some uh, many, many things they're developing, which they are claiming to build on top of EOS with the uh, reward systems and they're putting some apps like a social media kind of a thing. So overall, I think uh, all of you, what you can do is, of course, you need a scatter account. You need to attach your scatter account. For example, right now we have attached our investing with a difference account here uh, with the EOS toolkit and you just press airdrop and that's how you do an air, air grab. And uh, there are two things to keep in mind here. The one thing is if you were not on Genesis snapshot and if you bought an account with a limited amount of RAM, you may want to consider purchasing some more RAM to be able to do these airdrops even though they take a small amount of RAM but it can slowly uh, and surely add up and you may run out of RAM. Uh, for people who had 8 kilobyte of RAM that means they were on the Genesis snapshot you should not worry I think most of these airdrops will be easily accommodated in your existing RAM. Um, I would say around 6 kilobyte is uh, something which everybody should take if you are planning to do all these uh, air grabs and definitely some of these projects are pretty good so we do recommend you to do air grab. The second part is of course you need to have a scatter. I'm hoping that at some point Graymas also uh, integrates it or if they have already done it I'm sorry because uh, I have not looked at it. Uh, but. Uh, I think if you are doing scatter, so if you remember we did a video uh, which where we showed you uh, how to set your active keys through, of course we didn't do it, it was uh, from uh, Crypto Colin, but we asked you, you can follow that. Uh, but what I'm trying to highlight here is that uh, uh, some people are not comfortable putting their keys uh, into scatter. So it is a good idea if you change your active keys. Of course, you need to maintain two key pairs and you need to be very careful if you do that. But if you do that, uh, that is one way of doing it. But irrespective of that, if you're already comfortable with Scatter, Scatter is a pretty good tool. Uh, you can always go offline while entering your private keys into Scatter. Uh, so those are some of the other ideas I would like to share with you uh, if you are trying to set up Scatter for first time. Uh, but in general, uh, it is a good thing to do air grab and to 
make sure that you're not missing out on these opportunities most of these uh, projects are taking a snapshot in september so that is another good thing because um, they are not using a genesis snapshot so while you're doing air grab you will not get the tokens immediately because these are just reserving ram in your account and when they do an airdrop they will be taking a new snapshot and doing it like riddle like Wiz, and tribe all of them are doing airdrops in september so that is something i wanted to highlight i hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it please do share and uh, press like and thanks again for joining in at investing with a difference bye for now thank you